Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video, I'm going to talk about Bomb Control Warrior. I have always liked to play Control Warrior and sadly, it has not been possible to really play Control Warrior in Ashes of Outland, but this sort of deck is the closest you can get to playing Control Warrior. There's even brawls in this deck and there's blade storms over here. So while uh, right now the days of those Highlander Control Warriors seem to be over, you can still play a control style game plan, even use Kaget Blade Fist in your deck, as long as you're willing to put in some bombs to it. This warrior deck is able to respond to many threats, it can remove tons of stuff because there's brawls, there's blade storms, there's risky skipper combos, there's even Deathwing Mad aspect in it, so there's a lot of removal. It can also generate a lot of armor, because Risky Skipper goes together with Armorsmith, and then there's Shield blocks in the deck, there's Evil Quartermasters in the deck, so you're going to gain a lot of health. And as for how you actually win the game, you win the game with bombs. Wrench Caliber puts some bombs into the opponent's deck, then there's Captain Greenskin to put even more bombs there, there's Horde Pillager to put even more bombs there, and there's Blastmaster Boom for some bomb effects as well. Even more hilarious when it's used together with Risky Skipper to just have everything explode instantly. It's not quite the old Control Warrior, but it has a little bit of that control feel because of all the removal that you're doing. There are several variants of the archetype, and this is my take of the deck. I didn't really like Blood Bowl Brutes in this context, so I cut those and instead went with Gargat and Deathwing, having just more removal and that sweet prime minion as well. As for the mulligans with this deck, the most important card that you're always looking for is Ankar. Ankar is used to tutor for your Risky Skippers, although in this particular version there's also Sky Raiders, Horde Pillager and Captain Greenskin that it can draw. And that card draw with Ankar is just very important for all warrior decks right now. Then if you're in a defensive matchup, you're looking for your armor smith, you're looking for your risky skipper, you're looking for your sky raider, just trying to piece together that sort of package where you can get your pirates and then you can get risky skipper, armor smith, just generate armor while you clear the board. In most cases you also look for Corsair Cash, although I don't keep Corsair Cash against Demon Hunter, it's a little bit slow there. And there's always the risk that you play the Corsair Cash and that gives you wrench caliber and against the Demon Hunter that doesn't just do much, so then you're in a lot of trouble. But Corsair Cash, even against the regular Hunter, Corsair Cash is a good keep. And the slower the matchup becomes, the better Corsair Cash is to keep, and less important the armor smith. So against something a little bit slower, you're looking for like Ankar, Corsair Cash, maybe a Bomb Wrangler. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notifications when new videos come. And now, let's go take a look at Control Boom Warrior in action. So I might even be able to afford to keep a hand like this. Because I have, I have lots of elements for a skipper turn already. Let's see, I don't know what sort of warrior I'm up against. We will see in the near future. Bombs, eggs, and rage. Everything is still possible. I mean, if you use like Livewire Lance, then that's that's a tell sign. That gives me some indication of what we're up against. Obviously, if he uses French Caliber, that gives me some indication, but we won't see yet. And if if the card that I picked up is an Ankar, then that tells me nothing because every deck right now runs Ankar because of the overall power of that card. And some interesting options here. I believe I'm going with the shield block. I don't use the coin yet, because I might need the coin for a for an interesting skipper turn. Alright, so this is a control bomb control warrior mirror. That is what we are seeing here. Because shield block is not run in the other archetypes. Fair enough. Let's get to smacking and see what happens then. I obviously wanted the bombs to stay in his deck for the Blastmaster Boom, but sometimes you are denied. 
Sometimes you are denied that. Sand will be full, so something needs to be played. That can be played, yeah. That works. Nine cards in hand. Well, hand is not full yet. I absolutely have to play something here. I'm gonna just chill and armor up a little bit. Because I want to do skipper turn, preferably with a lot of stuff and a battle rage. Skip a turn into bombs is difficult. I have the option to simply put another bomb into his deck and get my Blastmaster Boom out there with four boom bots. What other real alternatives do I have? I could do some blade storming. I could kill the armor smith and blade storm. I do like killing the armor smith. It's just a blade storm. It could be just a blade storm now. That's fine. I'll just blade storm and play an evil quartermaster out there. I think this is okay. This gives me a lucky. Lucky can be used for a skipper turn. Okay. So far this is all good. Bit of aggression going on of course. I have one armor smith available here. One armor smith should be good enough. There are some risks involved with the boom bot. But I think that's a risk that I'm willing to take for mana. If the Boombot kills the Skipper, that's a problem. I'm going to find out in the very near future. I mean, there's going to be three targets. Going phase was not what I really expected to happen. Do I need to coin the Battle Rage? I can draw four cards now. Is that sufficient? I'm being threatened by a fair bit of damage there. I think I need to do it like this. I need to generate a little bit more armor here, maybe. This means that I cannot really get to a good battle rage, though. So is that a problem for me? It could be. But I felt I needed the armor because I was left a little bit behind in health total. I can battle rage away the Deathwing. Mm, Blade storm away the Deathwing. But now there is the concern that because I didn't go for the battle rage, that I will be. I'll be at too low health total here. That's a genuine concern. Does he get the Ankhar or the... he gets the better weapon? That is unfortunate. And he has only one bomb in his deck too. And this is one of the few minions that actually kills the Kargat if I attack with the Kargat. Oh boy. Well, this... maybe, maybe the Battle Rage play was the correct play. We actually had meaningful decisions in this game. That's interesting. I really needed to get the Kargat to draw me a card. And two Boombots is just so miserably... Miserably few Boombots. I think I have to do that play anyway. Two Boombots is... it is bad, but what can you do? This is still the most threatening play I'm able to make here. I believe that that is useful. If I can just get a minion on the board, the Kargat can value trade away. And then they'll get to a battle rage from there. 
that might solve some of my problems. And I think this is the play that set it up the best, because it was very likely that he will trade away the Horde Pillager. There could have been a shield, shield block, shield slam in hand. That was possible. That randomly generated South Sea Captain was excellent, by the way. Just excellent. So here I would kind of like to brawl. Kogat. Yeah, I ha I'll have to brawl this. I'll have to brawl that board. There is the risk that he gets the Blast Master next, but we'll see about that. And when the Risky Skipper leaves, then I will just play the Bomb Wrangler and Hero Power. Because now the Risky Skipper makes this Bomb Wrangler really annoying here. Unless he picks up the second French Caliber. Well, I had a Shield Slam, which is fine. Alright, alright. So far, so good. It's time to play the Kargat. Use Kargat to kill that. So then use Battle Rage to draw a couple of cards. Also, remove bombs from the deck. It's good. I can Battle Rage again. This is fine. Still two bombs left in my deck. Time for me to armor up now. Okay, we leave a car got prime out there. He gets the battle rage. He has only one bomb in his deck. I have two bombs in mine. He has slight held advantage. I still have a skipper left. This is his last skipper. I have an armor smith left. He has an armor smith too. He was able to find another wrench caliber, so this could end poorly. Should there... Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah, just face. Face is the place. Third bomb into my deck. I need to find my armsmith. Finding an armsmith would be very important. So Kargat will kill that one. I cook my wrench caliber. Do I play a Sky Raider on the board? Yeah, I think it's fine to play one Sky Raider with the hand I have here. Then wrench caliber, hero power. Hit him in the face a little bit. But Blast Master Boom can be game winning here. Because I have three bombs in my deck. I don't even have a way to deal with the Blast Master right now. Well, that's good. I mean, these bombs chipping that one damage in. That's fine by me. I don't mind that. So it probably doesn't have the Blast Master. And I fight the Kargat Prime. So he has something responsive out there. But I've already seen his Deathwing and both Broods. So I believe this is Okaga's prime turn. What if he finds his Blast Master? Well, that's a worry for another day. Yeah. This has got to be the Kaga's prime. He still has the. So there, get the armor going. I also want to develop a Sky Raider here. Because I really, really want another minion on this board. So that if he has like Blade Storm, then he doesn't necessarily have the tools to kill the Kargat Prime. He has used both of his skippers, so he doesn't have a way to really, really get a lot of lot, lot of things done. Uh, he's going to be able to shield slam this and then blade storm the Kargat Prime. Yeah, that works out. 
but that meant that he needed to use a lot of resources to deal with those. And with still more bombs in the deck. And this one is guaranteed range caliber at the moment for another bomb into the deck. I mean, I just can't pass pass by such an opportunity. I can also do an evil quartermaster out there. One off. Fine, fine. Smack him in the face. If he draws a bomb, he dies. And that's 40%. That's 33%. So we'll do that. Doesn't draw a bomb yet. He has an armor smith left, but he doesn't have any skippers. I don't even keep the Sky Raider. I just I just want to get to my Corsair cache. Cache or a weapon, please. Deck this one time. The deck politely refuses my request. Hmm. Well, we'll see. How does Quartermaster perform in this deck? I mean, Quartermaster is one of the best cards. I don't know why, why some of the versions are not running it. It's phenomenal. It gives you a Lucky that you can use with your Skipper or for other purposes. It gives you armor for your Shield Slums. It just, it just does everything. Great card. Well, see, I'm still testing, but I currently think this is the best version of the deck. This is my own build. But I haven't tested enough to enough to say for sure. I think I want to armor up. I mean, they want to seal fate my face or something anyway. Hmm. Having seen one seal fate, I think it's fine to drop a wrangler. Let's drop a wrangler there. There could of course be a second seal fate. That is possible. Oh, it's some kind of a meme deck. Okay. So it's a Malikos. Malikos Rogue. Something like that, I suppose. Fine. Gargat is going to trade that away. This one's going to face. I should be able to generate quantities of armor that the Malikos is unable to penetrate. But that, of course, depends on finding some actual cards. Really? A Waxedred? Wow. Well, I don't have a Silence in this deck. That's for sure. Cash time, what can I pick up? Wrench Caliber. Do I want to kill the Waxedred? I'll have to sacrifice the Wrangler to kill it. But if I don't kill it... Is there a punish? I don't think there is sufficient punish. I just smack him in the face. If I can find like a skipper, then I can do a shield slam. If I can find shield block, I can do shield slam. Worst case scenario, I play green skin and I face tank that. I take 14 from the backstreet, assuming it goes face here, but. I should be able to recover from that. We'll see though. Well, that would be the shield block. So now I can do... Well, I can't buff the weapon and shield block shields them at the same time. But shield block shields them seems such an efficient use of my resources at the moment. Don't think I can pass that by. Do I want to cause their cash another weapon? That gets me closer to the skipper, closer to armor. Armor wins games. I like armor. Let's see if I can pick up the Ankar now. But I can. So then I'm not shield slimming that wax at red. I think I'm just smacking face with these now. 
I'm at 25. Rogue has a couple of bombs in the deck. Rogue's health total is going down. What's turn up to like? Your feeble magic oh, a big evasive dragon it. That one is definitely something to not like. Very ooh, that I really wanted that one to go into something else. So now there's 12 damage on the board. This can be a problem. 50% chance to get rid of an evasive dragon it. I can improve those odds by playing an Armorsmith. Doesn't the Armorsmith always win brawls? I think it does. One bad outcome, but Armorsmith always wins brawls. Armorsmith always wins brawls. That's the that's the way it goes. That is the rule. That that is the sacred rule. That has been in place since the beginning of Hearthstone. If I play this, I push 4 to the face. He goes down to 3. He has the Galagrond, though. No. So it is safer to play the Ankar. Smack him in the face with that. Obviously, I was hoping to draw the skipper, which I didn't meant to do this time. I can play some Sky Raiders out there, it's fine. Radiance probably pick here. He could have a Shadow Step for the Kronks. That's possible. But he still can't play this turn yet. Even if he plays the Galagrond. And the Galagrond has been invoked only once. I bring life. Alex Traza is a nice pickup though. But I'm guaranteed to get a skipper now. So I feel fine. Alright. So we smack him in the face and draw the skipper. I mean, everything here is always going face. One goes face. Then I will, of course, play the skipper. And then I'm going to play another armor smith. Let's get some armor going. Then I can play another Sky Raider, right? Yes, I can play another Sky Raider. Gotta lead the charge. Get some more armor going. Then I can Battle Rage for four cards. Five cards. Yeah, that's going to be acceptable. I can Shield Slam the Alex Traza. I can restore five health to my hero. I can Battle Rage for five cards now. I can actually just hero power. That one can go face. Okay. Alright, now I am at 40. I have plenty of resources available. And we'll see. Alright. He can pick up Wondrous Wand. Which might kill him, because there are three bombs in his deck. But it doesn't kill him. Which I suppose is good for him. He can still have shadow steps. What is my best chance to kill him? I don't have a card here that would do it. If I put a fourth bomb into the deck, that would get pretty close. Then I don't have another skipper ready. 
that will be fine, right? I can pick up a skipper, actually. It's fine to pick up a skipper. I'll just play that. I'll pick up the skipper. Picking up the skipper is fine. Because then I can do skipper, wrangler, quartermaster, lucky. And do we get the kill? Yes, we do get the kill. That was the highest percentage way to get the kill immediately and not let the rogue do any more things. Now that's that's a full mulligan. Let's go for something better. Like an anchor. Right. Good. Anchor is good. The opponent kept two cards. So I would expect a Corsair Cash. Is it a pirate warrior? It looks like a pirate warrior to me. Are there any other archetypes that run the Ken Arc now? I don't think there are. Like Kibler's Quest Warrior ran Ken Arc, but... This is not it, right? If it would be, he would equip the quest... No, no. was this the leftmost card? I'm not sure if this was the leftmost or the sent card. Pirates, pirates. Yep, that's pirates, all right. In order to contest these, do I need to coin the Ankar? Or can I hold the Ankar? Now I need to coin the Ankar, because there's a little chance that he has, like, South Sea Captain. And if the South Sea Captain played next turn, I will have to find a skipper. Or hero power shield slam or something at least. There are six pirates in this deck and only two of them are skippers. But I only get two rolls. So I lost the first one. How about the second one? There is a sky barge. Alright. Not enough mana to play evil quartermaster and shield slam. So much depends on whether I roll the skipper from here. I do. But that's still only two guaranteed damage next turn. Skybarge might live. Need to play the quartermaster, I think. See what kind of lucky I can pick up. There was the Quartermaster Shield Slam play for next turn too. If the Sky Barge lives, that's a problem. Oh no, that's a huge problem now. Oh no, that was a huge problem. I guess I lost the game. It looks, it looks like I may have just lost this one. If I shield slam the captain... 7... plus 5... 12 damage. That's got to be the Sky, sky Raider. Without the captain, he needed the captain there, but the captain was crucial. Now there's a chance for him to win. Two cards, what are the two cards? Oh. That's 17 damage, that's one off. But he can't go all face, right? He can't leave the armorsmith up, he has to trade the armorsmith at least. The rest can go face, right? Yeah, that is correct. Well, he needs some... ...very specific things. Oh, 
I might still survive though. Yeah, I think we're going for the Dalekstraza. Okay, so I'm at 9, he has 5 from here. Cochron is lethal. Can he find a Cochron? Oh, he had a mortal strike, that's lethal too. Whoa. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.